good evening. Today is Monday. A very long Monday. And believe it or not, I set this guy out in this outfit, in this setup on Friday and then got a phone call as soon as I did <laughs> and uh, which lasted beyond my time that I had available. So we're gonna try this again. This is baby uh, Michael Silas is his name. He goes by Silas and he is a very long sold out sculpt. He's the Will Sculpt by Natalie Scholl. He was one of her earliest ones and um, just something that grabbed me about how very, very newborn his little face is. And um, he was reborn by an artist. Um, if you haven't seen him or heard this before, he was reborn by an artist named um, Helena Z. And her uh, nursery name is Tiny Gifts Nursery. You can find her over on Instagram. I'll put a link over. She actually has a few babies for sale right now and has a or at least this weekend, had a really good sale going too. So, first I wanna show you two things. I got this for Lestat, who I almost called Niklaus, and who I almost put back to his uh, given name, Vladimir. Um, but anyway, My Little Vampire by Many Names I got this for him. It's a little bat and it says bite me and he has little vampire bat teeth. And <laughs> because I actually, oh, dogs are going nuts. I got this from um, the pet store. I had all these really cute Halloween things and they were 50% off. I paid like $3 for it. But every vampire needs a little bat. So that's gonna be his. I'll put that up there with him in his little coffin. And then, have you guys ever had the regret, regretful clothing sale? I, when Charlie left me, um, there was an outfit I had for her that was the cutest on her, but I just, I was like, now that she's gone, nobody needs to wear this. So I sold it, and then as soon as I got her back, I was like, dang, I wish I had that outfit. So, um... So uh, a friend was kind enough to send me a link to an out the outfit on eBay because I had put a, something out on my story. If you hey, if you see this, I'm on the lookout for it. So I got this off eBay. I'm just opening it now. They said it was washed once and in excellent condition, or worn once, probably washed and in excellent condition. So you may remember this. I think it's a little it's a little Carter's outfit, ink tights with the floral top and the corduroy dress with the kitty pockets. So I'm very happy. And also the floral, the colors of the floral shirt really match um, her little mouse Mishka really well. So very happy to have that back. So I, appreciate the help out there in the community when you put something out there and somebody takes notice and and um, and send something your way I think that's really cool so let's change this little guy because he's been in this um, I think this is skip hop he's been in this onesie for a really long time and um, I'm gonna put him just in some cuddly pajamas I'm always surprised by his weight when I haven't played with him in a while. Such a cute little guy. Oh. It's been, uh, it's been one of those periods of time where all your time tends to be pretty well spoken for. I can't say I've had zero downtime because uh, also very important topic to cover. Last night was the season premiere of The Walking Dead season 10. Um, if you don't know, The Walking Dead is my favorite show of all time. I don't care 
I don't care even if it's goes down if it goes down in quality I don't care it's still always gonna be my favorite show I'm proclaiming it now um, that show in my in my opinion <laughs> has production quality of a movie and I just I love it I am attached and loyal so that was really good um, and then watched the talking dead right after which is like a well it's a talk talk show like a panel um, interview with producers and actors from the show after each episode and they review key things they talk about parts of the storyline um, they talk about viewer comments online and so we did the whole thing and we actually watched it live we usually wait and catch up on a couple of episodes but we watched it live and um, it was pretty cool because I hadn't been watching the the calendar, you know, the countdown to when it came back on the air. So yesterday morning, I happened to see on Instagram, you know, the the Walking Dead page talking about the premiere, and I was like, oh, I gotta watch that. So he's just gonna go in these this you know pretty standard little. Carter's uh, fuzzy sleeper with the sheep all over it. This came home with him in his um, in his box opening, and it just makes him nice and cozy, cuddly. The temperatures have been chilly at night. We had the heat on. Well, my better half had the heat on uh, uh, over the weekend, so it's definitely getting chillier. So he'll be nice and cozy. See if we can get his big old splayed toes in here. You guys, I'm still waiting for my baby. And I'm not complaining. I'm happy to wait for this artist. I'm happy to wait for this doll. I had originally scheduled this doll for uh, an October delivery but I moved it up when I realized that I could, I had the bandwidth to do that. I moved it up to August and, um, and then she just had some priorities outside of doll making that set her behind, not just on my doll, but her entire schedule. So I feel for her because, you know, coming up on the Christmas holiday, I know that's a really busy time for a lot of artists and there's actually a delivery date. So it can become, pre you know, high pressure so I definitely don't mind waiting. I'm, I'm a big believer based on my life experiences though that, man, that managing expectations avoids like the majority of issues and disappointment. So um, I've sort of trained myself to have difficult conversations in, if they're necessary in order to adjust expectations. So um, the part of me that's anxious to get her home wishes I had a new delivery date, but not enough so that I, I'm going to reach out to her again and bug her because it really doesn't matter. I don't have a deadline or anything like that it's just to appease my um the part of me that just wants to know has to know everything that's going on so i'm gonna spray his hair down a little bit but i'm gonna put a hat on him anyway he's got this super fine hair i suspect that it is um alpaca hair because of how fine it is so he gets flyaways very easily I mean, you saw I just brushed it before and it was back already. And I didn't even put anything over his head. This little man. Oh, got the blanket wet now. Oh, he looks so cute from this angle. I'm going to see if I can turn him. Hopefully you'll still be able to see him. Pip squeak. 
Oh yes, and then I think I'm gonna put this pacifier clip on with a pacifier that is not gray. the biggest accessorizer all the time so where would you best clip this here I guess that looks weird I don't like that at all need to like find a little spot off to the side is that is that what you do with real babies you just find like a spot on their clothing and just randomly clip it seems backwards it's odd hmm I think we're gonna we're gonna skip that that was awkward Well, I'm definitely not complaining, you guys. I have heard some crazy stories, multiple people who have waited two years, three years. And I don't mean like, I don't mean like three years, but they knew it was going to be three years or two years. I mean, it's certainly not the first time that this has come up. This, this subject has come up on, you know, like how long would you wait for a doll? I think I'd be more likely to enter into a, a, a situation of waiting, you know, two or three years if I knew, you know, if I knew it was going to be that and I could evaluate if it was worth it, right? Or if I needed to choose something else that wouldn't take that long. But I can't even imagine thinking that I'm placing like a regular order that maybe might take 11, 12 months at most and, th and, and three years be still waiting and not even have an, like, not even having a delivery date or not even knowing if you could trust a delivery date at that point. I mean, that to me is just like. about these hats either. I don't want to go too crazy pulling on it since he's got the rooted hair. Maybe if we just pull it down in the back more. There we go. Ta-da! Yeah, so like how would your, what would your What would your um, like maximum wait time be? Let's say you were wearing, you really wanted the sculpt and you really wanted the artist and you're willing to wait. Do you have a time frame where you think, okay, this is my max time or are you pretty flexible with that? And then what would you do? Like, what would you do if you ordered a doll and then you were coming up on years and you really didn't know what you could believe what, like what would your course of action be right because here you have a situation where possibly um, you've already paid maybe you've already paid or you've paid a non-refundable deposit but you also don't necessarily want to go like crazy putting somebody on blast because they still have your money and your doll and you want a good quality doll that's a real situation. And at what point would you pass where you just no longer cared about the money and just like, just expressing yourself would become more important? That's gotta be frustrating. Anyway, so I am not uh, at all upset with the artist that I'm working with. Um, 
I know it's going to be completely worth the wait. The baby fever part where I know that she's coming and I'm so anxious to see how I feel about her when she gets here. Like that part is dying. But um, it's just sort of like low grade in the background. So that's it. Um, I guess on that subject, but I'd be curious to hear from you guys what, you know, how you would manage that situation. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to go eat some dinner and just, I'm glad to get some dolly time here with you guys and come around here and see what you're seeing. Yeah, he's a cutie pie. So newborn, look at that guy. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate you spending your time here. I look forward to hearing your answers or like your feelings on the subject if you were in that situation. Um, definitely um, we'll be back at some point with more, I'm sure. Uh, and until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful week and everything is going beautiful in your lives and definitely uh, thinking about everybody who's going through any kind of challenges, sending out lots of love and mass to everybody and appreciation. Enjoy the rest of your week and we'll be back soon. Bye for now.